It would be impossible to tell the story of Broadway in the last 60 years without first talking about the Schubert organization and the man who led it for most of those years, Jerry Schoenfeld. Jerry tells his story in Mr. Broadway, a memoir he completed in 2008, just a month before he died at the age of 84. I worked with Jerry in 1998 when I starred as Oscar Wilde and David Ayer's The Judas Kiss at the Broadhurst Theatre, one of 17 Broadway theatres owned by the Schubert organization. By then, the Schubert name was famous around the world, but I had no idea of the role Jerry had played in establishing that name. In his book, Jerry shares successes and failures, sings praise and settles scores, and describes how he and his partner, Bernie Jacobs, brought some of Broadway's greatest hits to the stage. A chorus line, Dreamgirls, Cats, Evita, The Phantom of the Opera, Godspell, Glengarry Glen Ross, Les Miserables, the list seems endless. But his contributions extended well beyond the stage itself. Even before he became the chairman of the Schubert organization in 1972, Jerry realized that the health of the theater in New York depended on the health of the theater district, especially Times Square. At the time, crime was up, tourism was down, and the theater was an endangered species. Working first with Mayor Lindsay, and with every mayor who followed, Jerry was the driving force in restoring and revitalizing midtown Manhattan so that the Great White Way could once again provide safe, quality entertainment for millions. Rocco Landisman, now chairman of the National Endowment of the Arts, once said, the Broadway theater as we know it is largely the achievement of Jerry Schoenfeld. Thanks to applause books, we now can read about Jerry's achievement in his own words. Hugh Jackman wrote the foreword, and Alec Baldwin wrote the introduction. Jerry Schoenfeld was a truly unique figure on Broadway, and I urge any fan of the theatre in New York or wherever you live to read Mr. Broadway.